In this demonstration, we will look specifically at the reports that are available within the ERS application. All of the reports shown here are profiled within ERS. Which reports are available to the user is dependent on the user's smart card access rights. Each report is given a letter and a number and a descriptive name. Generally speaking, the reports tend to be referred to by their letter and number. The reports that start with the letter A are the area team reports. These give you an overview of the organisations within an ODS area team. This report, starting with the letter C, relates to a commissioner report. The reports starting with the letter S are service provider reports. And the report starting with the letter B is designed for booking management service reporting. Let's start by looking at the A1 report. The A1 report will show the past utilisation of appointments for all of the organisations within your area team. The report is generated on a monthly basis and it shows activity for the previous 13 weeks. The information is defined by specialty and provider organisation. In the report itself, you can see for each week how many appointment slots were made available, how many appointment slots were booked, how many remained unused, and the number of appointments that were booked as a percentage. Next, let's look at the A2 report. This report shows a similar set of data to the A1 report, except this data relates to future appointments. This is a weekly report, and it shows data for the next 26 weeks. In the same way as the A1 report, the data is defined by specialty and organisation. And you can see the number of appointment slots that have been made available, the number of appointments that have been booked, the number of unused appointment slots, and the percentage of appointment slots that have been booked. The data in this report is particularly useful as it allows you to see exactly how many slots your organisations are polling and how far in advance the slots are being polled. Looking at this section of the report, the appointments are polled for the next 12 weeks, after which the appointment slots made available changes to zero. Therefore, the polling takes place 12 weeks in advance. Now let's look at the C5 report for commissioners. The C5 report shows all of the activity for locally commissioned services. This report is broken down by specialty and then by provider organisation and individual service name. The data is shown for the next 26 weeks and the information shown is largely the same as the previous reports. The only difference with this report is that there are two separate rows showing appointments booked. The first shows appointments that were booked from within the commissioning organisation and the second shows how many appointments were booked by external organisations into each service. Let's move on to the service provider reports. The first of these is the S1 report which shows monthly activity by service. The report is broken down by specialty and then by individual service and you can see the period that this report covers here. You are able to see whether a service is directly bookable or indirectly bookable, the number of appointments that have been booked within this reporting period, this means initial bookings that have been made for a particular UBRN. If an appointment gets rebooked, it will be shown in this column, you can see the number of appointments that are due within this period. These will usually be appointments that were booked in a previous month. You can see how many patients attended their appointments during this period, as well as how many patients did not attend their appointments. This column will only be populated if your patient administration system is able to link to ERS. You can see how many appointment slot issues occurred and the number of request cancellations for the period. 
it should be noted that a request cancellation is a complete cancellation of the referral request, so the appointment cannot be rebooked. An appointment cancellation is where a particular appointment has been cancelled, but it can be rebooked. These are shown here and are further divided by the reason for cancellation. The next report is the S5 report. This shows the monthly referral activity by Commissioner and Priority. This report shows the data set for the previous month. It is broken down by commissioning organisation. There may be a large number of these due to the fact that patients are able to choose where they would like to be seen. You can see how many bookings were made in total by each CCG and these are further broken down by the priority and a percentage of the total bookings for each priority. So you can see how many two week wait, how many urgent and how many routine appointments were referred into your service. Moving on to the S6 report. This report works in the exact same way as the corresponding area team report, the A1. The only difference is that this report is broken down by specialty and then by individual service. This is a weekly report, so it is particularly useful for service management. Similarly, with the S7 report, this report is similar to the corresponding A2 area team report and gives you all of the slot information for the next 26 weeks and contains all of the same categories. Again, the only difference is that this report is broken down by specialty and then by individual service. We can also see the polling range of each service. This shows the polling range at the time the report was generated. The service priority is also shown here. This report is useful for showing how long slots are being polled for and can be used as a tool to manage capacity. However, your service will need to ensure that they are completing proactive capacity management and not solely relying on this report. The final report that we will take a look at is the B1 report for booking management services. This report shows the total amount of requests that have come in from a particular commissioning organisation. It shows the number of referral requests, the number of advice and guidance requests, the number of referral request cancellations, the number of bookings, the number of appointment cancellations and the number of appointment rebookings. This report represents data on a national level.